people outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we'll be visited by two of two. the most ferocious animals Fer in the world. Ferocious. The tiger and the tiger beetle. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, yeah. They're really ferocious, mm -hmm. huh? Really ferocious? So ferocious. Wow. Jake. What does ferocious mean? <laughs> well, ferocious just means that the tiger and the tiger beetle are two of the most fierce and powerful oh. animals anywhere. Ah, just like me. Hi uh, Stinky, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to be ferocious just like the tiger and the tiger beetle. <laughs> hi -ya. Listen, Stinky, come here. Hmm? If you really want to be ferocious, mm -hmm. you have to try this. What is it? Oh! Ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, that was cool. You've got fish breath, but it was cool. Uh, Can you teach me how to do that? Certainly, Stinky, right after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, the big bite of the ferocious little piranha fish. Uh, a ferocious little fishy? Give me a break. Ah, the piranha fish may be small, but it is one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Oh, yeah, and what makes this itsy bitsy fishy so dangerous? It's great big teeth. The huh? piranha has lots and lots of big, sharp teeth that cut like a razor. Whoa, I see what you mean there. Whoa. Mm. Oof. The small but ferocious piranha fish. Another animal whose teeth will make you say, yeah. That's amazing! <laughs> uh, stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, we can practice roaring later. Are you ready for our first guest? Ooh, is he ferocious? The tiger is not only one of the fiercest <sighs> animals on Earth, but also one of the most beautiful. Ooh. And here he is, all the way from India and China. China! Jared the Tiger. <laughs> it's tiger time, cats and kitties. <laughs> time for a little growling. <laughs> oh, welcome, Jared. Y yeah, welcome, Jared. Ah, good to meet you. Oh, boy. Will you show me how to be ferocious? Oh, Stinky wants to be fierce and powerful yeah. like you. <laughs> oh, but are you sure you want to be as fierce as a tiger? We're one tough animal. Oh, oh look, look, look. You see, Stinky, we tigers are the largest cats in the world. Whoa, I never met a cat who likes to take a bath. Tigers love the water. We swim a lot. It helps us cool down after a hard day in the jungle. Hey, I know cats who lick their paws like that. Well, Stinky, the little cats that you know and big cats like the tiger are relatives. Right. We're kind of distant cousins. Ooh, I can see the family resemblance. I'll say you even walk the same way. Right. But those little cats can't disappear into the jungle the way this tiger does. Oh, I see what you mean. Your mm. stripes help you fade into the shadows. Right. We tigers do most of our hunting at dusk or during the night, because that's when it's toughest to see us. Oh, I don't get it. I didn't even see you disappear. Oh, we really don't disappear. We just blend in with the background. Watch. See the way the shadows fall on the tiger's stripes, how they disguise the tiger's shade. Oh, yeah, I see. That's cool. Uh, but what good does that do you? Well, Stinky, when a tiger is disguised like that, sitting perfectly still in the middle of the jungle, you might walk right by and never see him. Well, what is that tiger listening and looking for? Dinner. He's just waiting for something to get close enough. Then he can jump out of the shadows and pounce on That's him. what I call being ferocious. Mm. Yeah, and that's what I call another tiger. You know, it looks like the only thing that tiger caught was another tiger. Oh, that's just a friend. They're taking a break between meals. Oh, they they look like they're watching for something. Oh, we're always watching. We've been hunted down. Too many of us have been killed. And so, we're an endangered species. Ooh. Oh. Endangered species? Hey, that means that if we don't protect the tigers, there might never be another tiger around. <coughs> right. <coughs> Ooh, don't you worry, Jared. You've got Stinky on your side now. Oh. 
Thanks, Stinky. We can use all the help we can get. There are still some young tigers out there, but it's getting tougher for them to survive. Harder for them to find food and enough land to live on. Tigers are great at disappearing into the jungle, but we don't want to disappear forever. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thanks for coming, Jared. Oh, it is my pleasure, Jack. Oh, yeah, thank you, Jared. Oh, so long, you two. Goodbye. Bye bye. Wow. And now it's time for yet another an ferocious animal? No, 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 no. A ferocious game of tag on <gasps> Baby, Baby Talk. <laughs> okay, so I'm hiding down a hole, and you're gonna run by, and I'm gonna try to get you. Oh, oh, sure. You mean like tag? Uh, I love tag. Exactly. Okay, here I come. Okay. Now I bet you can't get me. I, I think I can. I got gotcha. you. No, oh. you didn't. <laughs> I, uh, I got you that time. No, you didn't. Oh, you didn't get me. Oh, okay, but this time... Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. You got me this time. Okay. <laughs> but I will bet you can't do it again. Bet I can. No, you can't. I bet I can. Can't. Oh, yeah, well, just climb on my head. No, no, no. Come on. No. <laughs> you can't get me. I, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh, my foot. Let go, let go. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's play something else. Oh, all right, I'm going to cover your hole up. You're going to what? I'm oh, going to cover it up. You mean like hide and seek? Yep. Oh, I love hide and seek. Okay, you cover me up and I'll hide. Yeah. Here it goes. I'm covering you up uh -huh. with this white thing. Uh -huh. And when I finish, nobody will ever find you. Oh, goody. This beats tag any day. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I didn't know bugs could play a game. Sure. Well, I'm going to go see if that ladybug over there wants to play volleyball. Hey, ladybug, you can serve. And while he's doing that, let's all do the insect rock. There's a new sensation. It's a cool vibration. It's true. And the whole world's bopping because the creepy things are rocking like new. There's a fuzzy, fuzzy business and a busy, buzzy whizzing around. Like a caterpillar crawling, like a centipede is falling on. So, how'd the game of volleyball go with that ladybug? She won. Ah, I'm Tizzy. Time for a quiz. Oh, hey, Tizzy, can you play games? Sure. I love volleyball. <sighs> no, thanks. So, what's today's quiz, Tizzy? Here it is. Ah, the question is this. How many kinds of beetles are there? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? More? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. John? Ringo. George. Yeah, yeah, George, that's, two. That's four. That's uh, four. No, that's three. Four. Well, have you guessed? Well, let's do the question one more time. Yeah, please. Okay, here's the question. How many kinds of beetles are there? And the answer is, there are more than 300,000 different kinds of beetles in the world. They can be as small as a speck of dust or as big as a saucer. Believe it, cause it's true. There are about 300,000 kinds of beetles in the world. See how many you can count. That's one. That's two. That's three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Kinds of 
beetles. Well, in a few moments, we're going to meet another kind of beetle. Oh, the what? tiger beetle. Oh, are they related to the tiger? Well, no, but tiger beetles are called that because, like the tiger, they're... Very ferocious! Right. And speaking of ferocious, it's time to meet that ferocious king of the kitchen, yeah. Yves Saint La Roche. Very nice introduction, Jake. Thanks. Ah, bonjour, bonjour! And now, today, I am going to tell all you little animals out there about the food chain. Now, Eves, you ask, what is the food chain? Well, you big sillies, the food chain is what we call it when a bigger animal eats a smaller animal who eats a smaller animal and so on and so on. Let us look at a food chain that begins with an alligator. Ants, quick, march! Here they go. Now, you see the alligator eats the raccoon. Who eats the frog? Who eats the cockroach? The cockroach? Oh, no, 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 no. Ants, take it away. No, no, we can't have that. <laughs> there must have been uh, some kind of mistake. <laughs> um, let us look at another food chain. Ah, now, this is a food chain that begins with a python, which eats a mongoose, which eats a lizard, which eats a praying mantis, which eats a cockroach. I Oh, not again. No, no, no. Ants, take it away. No, we cannot have that. Oh, no, no. I am sorry. I will try one more time. Let us see. Ah, we. Oui, this is better. Now, this is a polar bear, which eats a seal, which eats a big fish, which eats a smaller fish, which eats a cockroach that fell in the water. No, no. That's it. Enough. No, take it away. Take it away. Oh, no, we'll have no more of this. Now, I will show you a food chain which does not end up with me being eaten. Voila! <laughs> now, this food chain is not only safe for me, but an appetizing fashion accessory. Hmm. I think I will eat it. Oh, 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 oh yum, yum. Well, bon appetit. And remember, if you can't eat a food chain, make sure the food chain doesn't eat you. <laughs> Au revoir! Wow, food chains sure are fascinating. Yeah, but only if you're at the top. Uh, good point. <clears throat> and now it's time for our next guest. Welcome now from the heathlands of Europe. Europe. Nippy the Tiger Beetle. Here I come, Tiger Beetle Express coming your way. That's it, Ollie. Bring him right on over and yeah. set him down. Just over, over here. Oh, gently. Thank you, Ollie. And welcome, uh -uh. Nippy. Yeah, hiya, Nippy. Hey, are you really ferocious? I mean, you look just like a bug to me. Oh, uh, don't call me a bug, Stinky. I'm a beetle. A very powerful beetle. Ooh. Yeah, powerful oh. like a tiger. Yeah. You see, I hunt by wading and hiding. I can blend in so that you cannot see me. Well, I, I don't see you. Yeah, exactly. And when the time is right, I come out of hiding. Well, what are you hiding from? Oh, tiger beetles don't hide from anything. We had him wait for bugs. What kind of bugs? Well, how about, uh, let's see, um, this ladybug. Ladybug? Ooh, be careful, they're very good at volleyball. Oh, yeah. They're also good at getting away, too. A ladybug's smooth, hard shell makes it hard for us to grab her, and so she can slip away. Mm. Now, do tiger beetles eat anything besides bugs? Uh-huh. We also eat certain plants. Yeah, they're very important to us, since we get all the water we need by squeezing the moisture out the leaves. Like so. But when a caterpillar goes by, who can resist? A caterpillar can be difficult to catch, but unlike the ladybug, they have no hard shell to protect themselves. We tiger beetles rarely miss it when it comes to caterpillars. Mm. Are tiger beetles always so strong and dangerous? Oh, uh-huh. Even when we're still a larva. Well, well, what's a larva? Oh, well, a larva is a young tiger beetle before its body and legs are fully formed. Oh. Our jaws, however, are already very powerful. Mm. See, a larva cannot move around easily, so it lives in a burrow in the ground and waits for food to pass. He's so well hidden, the ant will just walk right over him. Yo! Whoa, that one got away. Uh-huh, one does, but the next one won't. Uh-oh, here it comes. The wolf! Oh, I see. Wow. Boy, you sure are ferocious. Uh-huh. I guess that's why they call we tiger beetles the mean machine. Ooh, the mean machine? Yeah, let Ooh. me show you. Ah, 
And now here is Nippy the Tiger Beetle singing The Mean Machine. Ah! Cause I'm a mean machine. I'll never ever worry cause I am nobody's fool. Yes, I'm a mean machine. I'll never ever hurry cause I love to play it cool. Get out of my way. Step out of my light. Don't you know you're dealing with dying? Coming, then you better step aside. Yes, I'm a mean machine. You better start a run, and I suggest you go and hide. I can battle a bee, I can plan a fly, I can terminate a termite in the wink of an eye. Whoa, whoa, I want you to know I'm a mean, mad, mean machine. Oh, it's not because I'm angry, it's not because I'm bad, it's just that. Surprise you how delightful I can be. You can blow me a kiss, you can give me a hug, but never, 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 ever call me a bug. Ooh, ooh, I'll suck it to you. I'm a mean, mad, mean machine. That's me. I'm a mean, mad, mean machine. Mm. Hey, way to go, Nippy. Marvelous, Nippy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the mean machine. Wow, maybe I'd be more ferocious if I had a nickname. How about. The smelly fella. Ooh, I like it. Now all you have to do is teach me how to roar. Sure, but first here are some other ferocious animals. And now, the Animal Awards present the most ferocious animals for their size. Yeah, they may be small, but they're tough, believe mm. you me. Who is the fiercest small animal, is it? The piranha fish. Mm. <laughs> or the stoat. Uh-huh. Or oh, that mean machine, the tiger beetle. Mm. Yeah, he's tough. In third place for most ferocious animal, the stoat. Ah, in second place, the tiger beetle. That means the winner of today's animal award for fiercest small animal is the piranha fish. Yeah. Congratulations, piranha. Yeah, small but beautiful, pal. Mm. Ah, and now it's time for a story. Ooh, about a piranha? No, about a caterpillar. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a little caterpillar called Carrie. Now, she was a very happy little caterpillar until one day when she decided she didn't want to be a caterpillar anymore. I've done the caterpillar thing, Carrie said to herself. Now what can I be? Well, she had the feeling there was a whole new Carrie inside just waiting to come out. But who could this new carry be? A bird? A flower? A bumblebee? Well, Carrie decided she might be able to think better if she hid herself away. So she made herself a little house called a cocoon. She spun it out of silk and she wrapped herself up inside it and she fell asleep. Carrie slept for a long time, dreaming of what she might be. Then one morning, Carrie woke up. Let me out of here, she yawned and pushed her way out of her little house. Now, she knew she was still Carrie, but she felt different. I feel like a butterfly, she said. Good thing, said a passing butterfly, because that's what you are. The end. Whoa, the caterpillar became a butterfly. Mm. Where do you come up with this stuff, Jake? Well, that's what really happens, Stinky. Caterpillars really do become butterflies. Wow, really? Yeah. Sheesh, you learn something new every day. Yep. Shh, shh, stay real quiet. I'm hiding from Ollie. Ow, my head. Shh, shh, be very quiet. Armstrong! <laughs> oh, look, a present. I wonder if it's for me. <laughs> Boo! Ah, Armstrong, ah. what are you doing? I'm hiding. Why? Well, because it's about that time and we're going to the Indian forest. Mm -hmm. I figured it's a great way to hide from ferocious animals. You're going to wear that box? Oh, yeah, and I got you one over there. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, for me! Yeah, I cut it Ooh. out special. Does that fit? Oh. Oh, Armstrong, oh. thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Right, to the Indian forest. If I can find the map. Oh, uh, over that way. I'll have to sniff it out. Yeah. Uh, uh, here we are. Hey, uh, are we there yet? Yes, Armstrong. And look, there's a tiger. Oh. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's probably got to be hunting those deer over there. You see him? Yeah, because they can't see us, right? That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're safe. Don't worry. Okay. I feel all right in here. Uh-oh. A tiger alert. Tiger alert. Oh, Armstrong, isn't it beautiful? And thanks to these boxes, we can get right up close. I think we're a little too close. Huh? Hey, I wonder if we should lend these boxes to those deer. No way. No way, Allie. Keep in mind. That giant squirrel is safe enough up in the trees. You see, tigers don't climb trees. Yeah, good thing, too, because I'm not giving any squirrel my box, either. Those monkeys know it's safer up in the trees, too. There are lots of monkeys in the Indian jungle. Hey, uh, I guess if they came down, they'd be out of that tree. Huh? You get it out of the, the tree there. Um, oh, never mind. Uh, aren't they just so fun to watch? Well, not really. I wish they'd stop scratching and making me itch. And I can't scratch it with this box over my head. <gasps> Look! There's a one-horned rhinoceros. They are very rare. We're lucky to see one. Yeah, only if he doesn't see us. Come on, let's go closer. Oh, do we have to? Oh, come on, Armstrong. We're safe in these boxes. Well, not as safe as we'd be if we were home. It's too close. Shh, don't scare him away. Scare him away? He's scaring me. Well, let's go back to the monkeys then. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Even if they do make me itch. <laughs> Ah, yes. Oh, aren't they so sweet? Oh, there's, there's another one. one. Two. <laughs> there's two of them. Yeah. Three. Oh, another one. There's another one. Oh, monkeys Three. all around. I told you there were Four. a lot of monkeys. Look, look, Ollie. Four. Yep. Hmm. They hang out together, don't they? Oh, Ollie, get my box off. I want to find out where this peacock gets his feathers. Sorry, Armstrong. Time to go. Excuse me. <laughs> For Habitat <laughs> Time, this is Ollie. And Armstrong. Just back from the Indian forest. Yeah. Hey, Ollie, how can we get out of these boxes here? Oh, it's easy. You just... <clears throat> Oh, I'm stuck. What? Hey. Oh, time for a quiz. Hello, Tizzy. Oh, hi, Tizzy. Oh, good roar, Stinky. Ready for a quiz? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we are. Here it is. Oh, here's an elephant, and here's a tiger. Which of these animals has the biggest teeth? Did you guess which animal has the biggest teeth? We're still chewing on it. Yeah, and that's the tooth. <laughs> Do you know the answer? <laughs> which animal has the biggest teeth? The elephant or the tiger? The answer is both. The elephant has bigger back teeth and the tiger has bigger sharp pointed front teeth. Believe it, because it's true. Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Mm, whoa, whoa. And you too, Eve. <laughs> and a special thanks to our two ferocious guests, uh, Jared the Tiger and Nippy the Tiger Beetle. Bye. Bye-bye. And to all you little animals out there, until next time, keep on flapping, swimming, hopping, and roaring. You ready to roar, Jake? Ready. Arr! 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 Good. Bye-bye. Uh,